Hi, this video is showing you how to make a custom shaped PCB using Inkscape and Britsing so you can design your own to whatever shape you feel like. Um, I'm going to use a pre-designed SVG uh, design but you can actually make your own and follow the same steps so I'm going to import it so file import and then I've got the Christmas tree that I want here I'm going to import it OK, so this is going to be my PCB. So now I'm going to set the width and height of the PCB. So I want it 50 by 75. So that sets the height. Now I'm going to change the um, document properties so it just shows the PCB. So resize to content and then exit that. And then I just want to zoom it in a bit. So I'm going to do zoom page. I'm just going to get rid of the XML editor, which we'll use later. So this is what our PCB is going to look like. Now, for fritzing to recognize it, it needs two layers, a board layer and a silk screen layer. So I'm going to create those now. So if you go in layer one and then add a layer, and then we'll call this board all in lowercase, and that's important, and that's as a sub layer of current, and then add. And then we want another layer in layer one, and we call that silk screen. And again, that's a sub layer of current and click add. Now we take this Christmas tree and we do control X to copy it. And we place that control V into the silk screen and control V into the board. So now we've got two layers like this. We're going to square them up later. So the next thing we need to do is set these up. So click on your silk screen layer and you go into fill and stroke and then we don't have any fill on our silk screen layer. So we click the X, then we go to stroke and then we click here and these all have to be zero so that it doesn't have any color and then go stroke style and we do this in inches and it is 0 0.0008 and tab out of that. So that's our um, silk screen layer done. Then we go into board, make sure that's all selected, then fill and stroke. So fill, we do want fill on this and that's set to 128 on green. So that sets our color of our board and we don't have any stroke and obviously no stroke style. The next thing we want to do is align both layers. So we're on the board layer at the moment and we shouldn't need to move this but I'm going to do it anyway. So we center on vertical axis and then center on horizontal axis. Go back to layer and select silk screen layer and then align and distribute and then center it vertically and horizontally. So that's our two layers complete. Now we need to modify the XML file so it can be recognized by fritzing. So if you click this right facing arrow in the bottom right hand corner and then click XML editor, what we need to do is change the IDs of our sub layers. So if we go into board and change the ID to board and then tab out of that and then go into silk screen and change that to silk screen silk screen or lowercase and tab out of that and then what we need to do is go back into our board and change the path name to board outline board outline or lowercase and tab out of it and then that's everything done in Inkscape so we just need to save it as so save as and it's important that it's saved as a plain SVG and I'm going to save it as Christmas zero so easy to remember now I've done that so what we need to do now is go into fritzing in a blank document 
So I've got a blank PCB open. Then we go load image file and it was Christmas zero. So ignore this, just click OK. And then I'm going to do view actual size, which isn't exactly accurate. And then I'm going to move that into the middle there. So this is our board and it's got the silk screen layer and the board layer in it. So I'm going to just quickly show you how to populate a few components. So I'm going to put the chip in first. So it's a, I've just done a search for a 328 because I'm going to use an 18 mega 328p and then click chip. So this is our chip, same as what you'd have it on Arduino. And then we're going to go to a core components and we're going to add a resistor and an LED. So I've got a resistor here and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and move it up here. I'm going to put an LED in here but I want that rotated 180 degrees. Then I'm going to put some terminals which are here at the bottom of the tree and I'm going to rotate these 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this is pin 15 on the chip is actually digital pin 9 if you're working in Arduino world. So I'm going to connect these up like this. So you've got to make sure that your traces don't go over the edges of your holes. At the moment we're working in the top layer in yellow. So I'm going to connect, then I'm going to connect the resistor which is 220 ohms of standard, which is fine, to the anode of the LED, and then I'm going to connect the cathode of the LED to this pin here, which is going to be our ground. Just going to neaten that up a bit. Nice and square. That's right, you get the idea. And then, so that's our LED connected to digital pin 9, which is the IC pin 15. Now, this pin here is our VCC. So if this will be our positive, we need to connect that to this. I'm just going to double check. Wrong. Delete that. So I'm going to connect it again. VCC. Connect to our positive. So I'm going to put that out here. So that's a positive supply to our chip. Now I'm going to move to the bottom layer so we can overlap the traces. I'm going to connect the ground, the chip ground, to our terminal ground. Neater. So now we've got, I'll move that again. Not ideal, we shouldn't really have 90 degrees. So this is our um, design. Now we can export that for manufacturer. So I'm going to show both layers again. So file export for production extended Gerber. Now I've got a folder already set up which you'll need to do so Christmas PCB and I've got an empty folder already selected in here set up in here it's called Christmas PCB so you click on that then click select folder and that's exported my files to this so if I go in this file it's got everything it needs to make the PCB then I need to zip this up. So go to, I've got 7-zip, and then add to christmaspcb.zip. So that will create a zip file with everything in. So that I can now use on a website such as JLC or PCBWay. So if we've got PC, JLC PCB open, I'm going to add this as a Gerber file. So just click that, click a zip file, and that will bring it in and in a few seconds you will see the PCB appear 
and you can see the front and the back so this is our LED resistor connected to digital pin 9 or positive connected to positive and then obviously if you flip it round you've got our ground connected to our PCB and then you can go ahead and order your PCB thanks for watching